Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and I am whipping together three 20 ounce jars of some asparagus that I needed to use up. It was about two pounds or so and I'm going to be pickling them and then water bath canning them. So I thought I'd show you all of the different steps and my recipe that I use. So come on with. Okay friends, so we are going to do the brine. I have my jars warming up in my water bath canner. So right now I've got whoops, about a liter of water. Oh, this isn't a very good pour. And then I brought a little extra water just in case. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. But I'm using the larger jars, the 20 ounce jars, instead of like a pint or a quart. These are kind of just like those super fun, tall, skinny ones that will hold the asparagus really well. And then I've got two cups of white vinegar. And let's get this on. My new gas stove is amazing. And then you're just going to heat that up. I'm going to add one tablespoon of my Redmond's Real Salt, if you can see that. And then the other salt that we add is into the actual jars. So we'll do that at the end. And I'm going to add that water. I don't know. I tend to like it not quite as vinegary, so I'm going to add about half, half a jar yet. And then we're just going to stir it and make sure everything is dissolved. And meanwhile these are heating up nicely. I've got it on medium, fe medium heat, both of them. And then once this is done, I'm going to empty the jars of their hot water and get them filled up with all the goodies. Okay, so let's get the hot jars out and let's get the product in. And normally a lot of people do blanch these, but I don't, especially for uh, asparagus. They kind of have a tangy flavor already. And always open the steam away from you. So our brine is done. And you always want to put hot product in hot jars. And we're just doing three today because I have about two pounds of asparagus. All right, these to the side. And then these are a little bit too tall. So I'm going to cut them down and I'm actually going to uh, just put the extra inside of a jar. All right, so we'll do that. But first, all right, I want to put all the goodies inside. So right now, I pick some fresh dill, but I'm going to do a teaspoon of peppercorns, just black peppercorns. And then I'm going to do the same with mustard seed. So I've got organic mustard seed. Let's pop that off. Top. And I'm going to do one teaspoon in each jar. Okay. And even though I'm putting dill, I'm still going to add some dill seed. I'm just going to do one teaspoon of that. Yeah, my dill is like going crazy outside. So I had fun picking and choosing off of my plant and then I'm going to do some fresh, um, not fresh, but um, organic oregano also. Kind of gives it a little bit different flavor and I'm going to do one teaspoon of that in each jar. And like I said, I like to use these this size. It's just kind of fun and then it's not too much. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm not going to do a teaspoon of this I'm going to do some crushed red pepper for the seasoning and I'm just going to whip in there a quarter of a teaspoon just for a little bit of zip. All right, there's that. And then I'm going to do one, whoa, one clove of garlic in each. 
So I've got my handy dandy chopper and I've got them all peeled. I'm just going to scrape that in each one, basically. All right, that's one. Two. Yeah, if you watched my garlic video, that was kind of fun to do with this chopper. It does really well chopping a lot of garlic. So it still stayed sharp. And this clove was a dually, so I'm just going to do both. And scrape that in there. And some people just put the whole clove of garlic in there. And I like to chop it and really get the garlic flavor um, into the product. So we're doing the asparag asparagus and it's really going to get in there. All right, so I'm going to put a few, a sprig when we start here on the bottom. And then I'm going to get these in here, right? So I counted out the asparagus and I'm going to put 13 in each of the jars, just kind of from what I gathered. So I'm going to get these cut up. Okay, so I've got these measured out and then I've got some in a freezer bag, uh, just the stems, so we'll save those for later. But I'm going to get the rest of the dill sprigs kind of stuffed inside. And just kind of whatever fits in there. And then we'll get the hot liquid while the jars are still warm. It's kind of challenging with the heads on these. Okay. So I'm gonna get the hot water. Okay, I found it. So I'm gonna get my ladle with my hot item here. Let me grab my hot pad. And this is just like a simple brine with a little bit of salt. And I always try to put something underneath just because I do not have granite countertops. So we'll see how much this yields. And you want like an inch of head space. It's a little difficult. I'll probably have to break this down a little bit. And you want to make sure that the jars were warm before putting hot brine in them. Last one should be just about perfect. Yep, I'm glad I added that little bit of extra water. Okay, it's right about at one inch. So let's take a look. So I'm going to kind of chop these down a little bit make sure that we've got enough space and they're just not going to be as pretty as normal but that's fine you still get the full effect of the pickling so we've got some things coming up where I'd like to bring a few homemade gifts and I like these these are fun and different and I needed to use them up and get them out of my fridge. Okay, so now we want to clean off the lids with some vinegar and make sure that there's no chips. Okay, and I'm just going to spin it. Actually, you know what, before I do this, I want to debubble it. And then we're ready for the water bath canner. Actually, you know what? <laughs> okay, this is real life. I wanted to put a teaspoon of salt on the top yet. All right, take two. Let's try it again. So I did not put a lot of salt in that brine. All right, so one teaspoon 
of my Redmond's Real Salt in the very tippy top. Okay, now I'm happy. Now let's get to getting. All right, now I'm happy. So let's get it in the water bath canner, which is still on. I just have it at a low heat right now, but we'll ramp that up to get the rolling boil that we need. So I still have about one inch of water above the top of this jar, which is what you need. All right, all right, let me switch angles and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there they are. I do have a rack in the bottom and then it's already kind of warm. It's starting to bubble. Um, I'm gonna turn this up. Uh, probably in between medium and high and get this water really roll in here and then I'll show you what a full rolling boil looks like and that's when we start our timer. Okay, it is full rolling boil. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Second timer for 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, my 10 minutes is up and I just turned everything off and I like to let them rest at least five minutes to kind of calm things down and then I'll get them out of the water and resting for the evening. Okay, let's get them out and onto our board to let them cool overnight. All right, so they are still rocking and rolling in there. I like to set them this far apart and then I do have them on a board, um, just like I said, that I don't have grand countertops or anything so let's get this video closed up. Okay friends, so thanks for stopping by my little channel. And I've done so many different things on here. Take a look at my playlist from dehydrating to pressure canning, water bath canning, which is what you just saw, and all kinds of fun things. I actually uh, have a couple planting videos coming up and then we're working on sprouts and all kinds of fun things. So if you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe and I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. I feel like I started too early on that. The little red light didn't come on right away. And I'm going to be doing three 20 ounce water bath canned pickled asparagus jars. There's got to be an easier way to say that. All right, try it again. Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and I am going to do, do, I'm going to whip. Do or whip? It's whipping, all right. 